here folks we're now in our next video in the in our course in introduction to statistics or in our playlist introduction to statistics um, in this video we're going to talk about the st statistics in the research process okay again the the content of this video or the upcoming videos also um, is taken from the handout created by dr sweet rose Linares. so um, first um, before we can even talk about the research um, process we take note when we talk about the research process as, as at least it is from the standpoint or the perspective of statistics okay so research is a procedure for carefully finding accurate solutions okay so it's a procedure of carefully finding accurate solutions to important relevant questions by the use of scientific method of gathering and interpreting information okay so doing research is a is a multi-dimensional skill carrying out successful research must exceed the bounds of printed paper and leap out to influence opinions and opinion shapers okay so um, the research process again from the standpoint of statistics have or has three okay, very basic uh, steps to do okay so what are these first is you need to formulate your problem okay that the research problem should be formulated first after you ask that question you then define your population of the study okay after you define your population you will need to know or identify your variables of the study and we're going to talk about them one by one okay so let's start with the first step shall we okay so the research process the first step is to formulate the problem okay the formulated problem so the formulation of the research problem okay this could be your general or specific objectives actually so it should be smart okay smart smart as in because there's an acronym for that smart stands for specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound okay, again your research problem or the research process um, in your in your formulation of your problem must be smart specific measurable attainable realistic and time bound okay so a research objective that is smart sets a very good roadmap for the conduct for the conduct of research the scope and the population is delineated hence it can be determined beforehand whether to do a census that is um, gathering of information for the whole population or a survey okay gathering of data from a sample these um, terminologies we will discuss in a while okay the subjects or the sources of information are then are identified hence the appropriate method of data collection can be determined also the kind of information needed to answer the problem or objective is known at the beginning of the study the type of objective is known hence the appropriate descriptive or inferential tools will be will be known also or are, are anticipated in such a way okay so that's how you formulate your problem it should be smart in short okay um second is again number two in the research process is we need to define the population of the study okay define the population of the study so we will be um, talking about two um terminologies here when we define the population of the study um, first of it is of course we have we are facing it right now population usually it is um or i think most of the textbooks use the capital letter n okay the the capital letter n for the population it is all subjects under investigation okay again as, as stated a while ago when we do uh, get the data from the population we don't call it a survey again we call it a census okay it's called a census it's the it's a procedure of taking data from the whole population of the study and when we get the data from this population via census we call those data parameters okay so parameters describe a characteristic of a population so whenever we have a for example we're going to get the average of a population okay so that average is what we call a parameter okay that average number taken from the population is what we call a parameter second definition or second terminology that we'll, we'll talk about is a sample now contrary to the population which makes use of the capital n in sample we're going to make use of the um, lowercase m so sample a sample is a subset of a population so meaning it's 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 a part of a population okay, it's one part of the population it's a it's a little set from the population 
um, which in turn actually um, the full definition is that a sample is a subset of the population where it will it will represent the population okay even though it's only a, a part of the population okay so take note a population again is a set of all elements of interest um, when we do or gather data from the sample we call this a survey okay so contrary to the census if we're going to take data from this from a sample we'll call it a survey and um, in order for us to know what part or what subset of the population will get in order for it to become a sample or a represent representation of the population we must know or identify the proper sampling or shall we say sampling technique to be used and also how many are not, are the number of samples or the number of n okay in our in 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 uh in the study okay and then when we get the data from the sample when we get for example the average of that certain sample we don't call that a parameter since it's not a population we call that at the statistic without an s without an s so statistics is a, is a subject what we're what we're doing now um statistic is a characteristic of a sample so and i'm going to take the average for example of one of one sample um and then we'll have a mean or an average from that sample we call it a statistic compared to population we're in if we're going to get take a census um get the average of the whole population we call that a parameter okay so those are simple definitions um, for population and sample. Just take note, in order to identify the population of the study, ask the question like this. Who or what are going are going to provide the information needed to answer the research problem? So who or what? Okay. That's the question that we need to ask ourselves okay, in order to determine the population of the study. And also, the population of the study need not consist of human population. It doesn't necessarily mean, like in our... Like in our general um, terminologies, when we say population, it talks about human beings. But in statistics, it's not necessarily all about human beings. Okay, so that's what you call population. Um, okay, so the third one in the research process is when we will be uh, when we will be identifying the variables of the study. So um, when we identify the variables, first, of course, we need to understand or yeah, um, know the definition of, of a variable or what a variable is. So um, briefly, a variable is any measurable characteristic of the study. Okay, so it is any measurable characteristic or attribute of the subject that is the focus of the study that can take on different values. Okay, so we call that a variable. Otherwise, if it doesn't take on any different values or different values, we call that a constant. Okay, so some notes here. Um, in order in order to, to determine the variables of the study, um, you ask the, you ask yourself the questions: What information is needed from each subject? That is the element of the population in order to answer the research problem. Okay, so you ask your question, your, that question to yourself, and for um, in order for you to determine what are the variables or what will be the needed variables for your study, um, a research problem or a specific objective may involve one or more variables. So it's not it's not only that um, you will only have a single variable. It's not only that you will uh, or you are guaranteed two variables. It depends on solely on your study. Okay. And also, it would be a good practice to determine the variable or variables of each stated specific objective so as not to miss any information needed from each subject. Okay, so um, those, are the, those are the research process. Again, a little bit of wrap up. Um, number one, we need to formulate our research problem. Okay, again, that's using SMART. SMART is our acronym or our mnemonic. Um, S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for realistic, for time bound okay um, next is we need to define our population of the study we have learned the definition of a population and a sample and also we need to identify the variables of the study so we also know the variable as measurable characteristic of the study okay so yeah um, that's it for this video um, statistics in the research process um, hopefully you learned something from there and um, yeah I hope to see you soon okay thank you very much